we got uh, another in-game battleground, and we got an in-game attack and defend. Uh, let's see, unless I'm missing something, I think that's it. Hell is that? Oh, ground war contract. I've never done a ground war. What is, what is ground war, chat? I mean, it's... You know what? We'll save that for the next playthrough. Uh, but we are in... Me, I fight for you. We, we are Deal. in a uh, industrial zone. And I did right. just put all this extra training on. So let's make sure everybody got their training done. The they did. The Outstanding. So we got more skills. Wish I could mod this game at all. I'm a filthy console peasant. That's okay, Chief. There's, again, no no judgment. No judgment at all. Uh, I mean, I know that PC master race folks like to bag on console players, but as somebody who grew up on PC, migrated to consoles, but never gave up on PC gaming, like, I, I see the benefits of both. Um, and if you want to know, like, the main reason that I prefer consoles, so here's, here's my thing. If I'm playing, like, a single-player game or an indie game, I'm going to play PC all the way. Because I love to mod games, I like to tinker with stuff, and you get a lot of experiences on PC that you would never get on console. But if I'm going to play a competitive game, console all the way. And I'll tell you what, two major reasons. Number one, control scheme, right? So, there is a huge disconnect. There is a huge disconnect in the level of skill. Like, there is a essentially a limitless skill ceiling when it comes to mouse and keyboard. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch some people that, like, esports people that play Counter-Strike or League of Legends professionally. The people who make millions of dollars to play these games. Go watch them play. Watch how fast they do shit. Watch how quickly a motherfucker will do a 180 and line that crosshair up right between the other guy's eyes and pull the trigger. It is literally inhuman how fast some of these people are able to react with a mouse and keyboard. Now, a lot of people are saying, that's a good thing. That, like, skill ceiling is awesome. No, skill ceiling is terrible if you want to have a healthy community. Because you need to be able to blunt some of that infinite skill ceiling. Otherwise, you end up with people in a, a class that is so much higher than everyone else that it discourages everyone else from even trying to play. And so, like, unless you're one of those folks that's, like, trying to be MLG Pro, you, you're basically like, I can never compete with that. Like, for me, I would never play Counter-Strike because I'm not that good and I'm never going to be that good. I'm only getting older, which means my reflexes are only going to get worse. With a controller, you're limited by the hardware, which doesn't mean that you can't get really, really good with it, but the hardware stops those folks that have that infinite skill ceiling from dominating everyone else. And I know that there are some people that are going to hear that and think it's a bad thing. I personally don't think that it is. I think it's a good thing because it helps level the playing field and it helps give everyone a chance to enjoy the game. The other reason that I prefer console for competitive games is because it is infinitely harder to cheat on a console than it is to cheat on a PC. And if you have ever played a competitive game of any kind on PC, I don't give a fuck what it is. If you're playing, motherfuckers cheat in Animal Crossing. People will cheat in everything. And especially in competitive games, people will always try to get a leg up on each other. And when you can go out and buy scripts to give you wall hacks and aimbot for... $15 off of some Russian hacker's website, like, that shit is rampant. EFT has been run into the ground by cheaters. PC Fortnite has been run into the ground by cheaters. Call of Duty, Valorant, 
every single major competitive game that doesn't put strict controls on its file structure has been inundated with cheaters. And I'm not going to say it's impossible to cheat on console. You absolutely can do it. But it's a lot harder to cheat on a console and the kinds of cheats that you can use on a console are a lot more limited. So, like, you say that, Erst. I can't go download cheats off of a website, install them on my, P on my console, and immediately have wall hacks in three minutes if I'm playing on a PS5 or an Xmo. I can literally, in the span, of, in less time than it takes me to complete this sentence, I can find, download, and install cheats for a PC game. So, like, that's the thing, is, is, and, and you're not wrong. Like, yeah, you can go get that stuff if it has a USB key and all that, but there's still that extra layer of obfuscation. Like, PC makes it so easy that it's become ubiquitous. Like, Everybody does it in the competitive seat. Well, I said not everybody, but many, 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 many people do it in competitive games. So, like that, those are my two main reasons for preferring console for competitive games over PC. Because PC makes it much easier to cheat, especially for casual people. And it also limits the skill ceiling so that everybody has a chance to succeed. No, I, I get yours, but again, it's like, I'm not saying that cheating is impossible on console, and I'm not saying that, like, it's the difference between a high school diploma and a PhD in terms of how difficult it is to cheat on console. Like, it's a thing you can absolutely do, but people are lazy. If I can snap my fingers and have PC cheats versus I gotta go get the USB, I gotta figure out how to muck around in the file structure, I gotta figure out whether the cheats work. I have to worry about getting banned off of my account if I get caught with the cheats. I gotta worry about bricking a $600 console. Like... Erst. Semantics. Also, fuck you. Uh, anyway, that, that's rant over. I apologize. I'm sorry, Chet. You got me on a tangent. But but that that's my thing. Like, I think that consoles and PC both have value. Um as gaming platforms like to me consoles are good for one type of gaming pc is good for a different type of gaming and you're free to agree or disagree um but, but that's just my two cents like uh, again my my opinion on the matter is if i'm playing like battlefield or call of duty or something like that i'm gonna play it on a console uh, if I'm playing, you know, again, the indie games or strategy games or tactical games, I'm going to play those on PC. Because, you know, I would never play Skyrim on a console because vanilla Skyrim is ass. Modern Skyrim on PC, though, let me, let me tell you some stories. Let me tell you some stories about modded Skyrim. You know, if you know, you know. But like that, it, it's that kind of thing. Like that's that to me is the difference between PC and and console. Uh, what's up? You're not wrong. And and like there are some games now, even in modern console generations, that have mouse and keyboard support. It's just the controller is a unified scheme, and again, it, it blunts that infinitely fast reflex time that makes competitive games so hard to get into on PC. Yeah, and that's the other thing, Dynamo, is, is consoles are also cheaper and more accessible. You don't need to have any tech background. Um, every console is the same, like it's the same hardware, right? If I buy a PC and then I put it together, uh, my setup is gonna be different from someone else's. It's gonna be different from everyone else's. Meanwhile, if I buy a PS5, that's pretty much the same PS5 that everyone else is playing on. It unifies the hardware architecture, which makes development easier. It also means that performance is going to be uniform across the board. So, you know, that's that's another benefit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get off the soapbox. I'm going to get off the soapbox. So, uh, like I said, we were looking in Star Map. We got a couple of different in-game missions here. So we do have the in-game attack and defend, and we have the in-game battleground. So we could do that or we could potentially head out somewhere else. So, once again, uh, I'm gonna ask you guys, I'm gonna give you a one minute poll. 
I'm going to give you a one minute poll. And I'm not going to give you the option to shop around this time. I'm not going to give you the option to shop around. So we either going to do attack and defend or we're going to do battleground. So once again, get ready. It's coming up. One minute poll. Get your votes in. Again, democracy only works when you engage with it. If you don't see the poll, refresh your stream. You should see it at the top of the chat. And go ahead and put your votes in for which in-game mission we're going to do. We're either going to do attack and defend or battleground. Battleground is more of a generic stand-up fight. Attack and defend involves us having to defend our base while attacking and destroying other people's bases. Uh, both are Coyote's mission pack, so it will be a little bit different from what you're used to in vanilla game. And of course, we do already have our uh, our lance put together. The, the mechs are ready to go. We just need to figure out which mission we're going to do and then get to the end game. Crew card says, I'm doing my part. Exactly. Yeah, don't 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 talk about how Ghost Bear saved Russell Hay. Uh Erst Erst is gonna have some strong words about that. There's only one group of people that Erst hates more than Ghost Bear, and that's the DCMS. I mean, Erst in general hates pretty much everybody, but his his highest levels of hate are in order House Curita and then the Ghost Bear Dominion. And I, I, I'm pretty sure those will flip back and forth depending on which part of the timeline you're in. Oh, well, there you go. I stand corrected. Apparently, apparently, Urs does not hate Space Texas or Space France. Or Space Vikings. Other Space Vikings. All right, well, the poll is over, and folks have overwhelmingly voted in favor of the Battleground in-game mission. So, with that done, let us head over to... Where are we headed to? We are headed to Heen. I, I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm pronouncing that right? Heen? Let's get underway, Chad. Let's get underway. This is it. This is the final countdown. In fact... In fact, you know what time it is. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta pull it up, Chad. I'm sorry. All right, now, now, as we get ready to take this final contract of this career, anyway, again. There will be me more Mech Warrior 5. We already have another campaign idea put together. Let's have a look at this in-game scenario. Ah. I wasn't even paying attention. Damn it, we're fighting for Curita. I mean, I don't really care about picking on Fedcom, but... I wish I had paid more attention to that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we can't- I was gonna take airstrikes on this one since it's the final mission, but I can't even do that. They're- they're not good because Kirita fucking hates us. They're not even gonna give us any airstrike support. It's ass. Alright, we're gonna take the maximum sea bill payout this time around because I'm gonna do- what we'll do at the end, pretty much the same thing that we did with the BTA campaign. I'm gonna see how much money we have at the end. Once- once this entire thing is over, I wanna see- how much we have in liquid funds. Uh, so let's go ahead and confirm. We're going to confirm the contract. So we are we are now locked in. We are locked the fuck in. So let's get these mechs put into where they need to go. Um, we're taking the... Good lord. Uh, I, I'm blind. I can't see. Where is- there we go. There's my crap. There's my crap. And we're gonna put in the atlases. The- the at- the at- why? I, 
I don't think we ever came up with the correct answer to what is the plural of Atlas. Oh God, no, we're, we're absolute, we are absolutely not going into battle with Merrick colors on that. You get the fuck out of here with that. Whoops, wrong button, wrong button. And Kumaqua comes in and says, how goes the no guts, no galaxy simulator? Going well so far, first time chatter, and welcome to the stream on a Saturday. Good to see you, glad to have you. And hopefully the weekend has treat you well. Uh, but yeah, so far it's going good. We're actually coming to the final mission of our, uh, this particular modded career. We're betting it all on black. We're going to go in as hard as we can on an in-game battleground mission. So we will, we will see if we're up to snuff. We will see if we're up to snuff. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. I know that this atlas has not technically earned its colors. But that's okay. That is okay. As a matter of fact... Chat, this is our end-game lance. This is the end-game lance. This is the last ride. I think we gotta do something a little special. Actually, you know what? Eh, I'll, I'll do it one at a time. I'll do it one at a time. We, we gotta do something special. Uh, give me this, 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 and this. There we go. Let me see how it looks on the king crab. Yeah, that'll do. Bloody lobster. We're gonna go with it, Chad. We're gonna go with it. Now. Now. Some of you are probably wondering how I'm going to determine the pilots for this mission. Now, normally, I would go with seniority. Or I would go with... Whoever has the best affinity. But because we have so many pilots, and because unlike BTA, where we could take in almost full company strength, we can only take four mechs. And one of them's gotta be the commander. So, I have a little something. I have a little something. Give me just a second. All right, Chet. Here we go. Some of you may recognize this. Wheel of Names. Wheel of Names. We are going to do this as God intended. We are going to let RNGesus Jesus decide. Erst says, I will not fight for Kirita. I mean, if you're serious, I will, I, I'll take you off the list. There you go. No Erst on the list. Erst refuses to take part in the final battle. That's... I didn't see that coming. But I'm also not going to pretend like I'm surprised. Sereni also says, I second this... Okay, Sereni doesn't want to be in the final battle either. All right. We'll suck you too. All right. Anybody else want to drop out? Anybody else that's currently... M company wanna wanna take their name off the list? You just you just making it easier for everybody else. Alright, so here we go. Wheel of names. We're gonna let R and Jesus decide. We're gonna let the let the Lord decide. So let's see. The first atlas that we're putting someone into is gonna be the Gauss Atlas. The one with the tier five Gauss. So, let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, oh. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Mate is going to be our Gauss Atlas pilot. So I'll go ahead and get him put in there. Uh, next up is going to be the first of the LBX Atlases. This is the 7D Atlas with the LBX-10. So let's see who's going to be in that one. See, I agree, Vin, and I've said this before, like, we're mercenaries, we fight for money. I don't give a shit whose money it is. I'm gonna use the money we make off of Kirita to buy more guns to kill more Kiritans. It's all good to me. It's all good. And it looks like Aetherin is gonna be our next Atlas pilots. All right, let me see, where are they on the lists? There we go, get them plugged in. And here we go. This is the last one. This is the RS Atlas. This is the other LBX Atlas. Let's see who's going to be our last pilot. And there we go. Jonah Arts is going to be the final pilot for this mission. There you go, chat. There you go. So nobody can say that, nobody can say that I was biased. Nobody can say that I was playing favorites. And all was quiet. We let the Lord decide. Front. As Sherry and Raddick says to a merc, it doesn't really matter where the money's coming from. If you get to kick a Capellan orphanage into the river, then that's a bonus. I agree. I, I have said many times before, uh, we go where the money is. I don't care whose money it is. I know that there are some folks that have ideological opposition to some of the factions that we fight for. That's fine. I've said before, in the cult of bad tactical decisions, whether that's fighting for untactical operations, the Tenori Tigers, or whatever banner we happen to be flying under, at the end of the day, I don't tell people, you can't have ideology in my company. I don't tell people, you can't have beliefs, you can't have biases, but by God, when I tell you to shut up and get in the mech, you shut up and get in the fucking mech. But, we got a bunch of pilots, and we can only take four. So, I gave people the option to bow out on this one, since we had plenty of folks. Plenty of folks. So, get in the fucking mech, Shinji. And let's make it hot one last time, chat. Yeah. Ed Rickett, Carl, subscribing for three months in advance. Well, thank you for the three months of future support, Wreck and Carl. Says, now fire someone and throw me in there. That's not how that works. You gotta save up the dopamine hits if you want to be in the game. Uh, nobody's gonna get fired. Everybody's gonna get a retirement. Assuming that we don't all die on this mission. Alright. Let me weapon groups. And let me make sure that I put these on the correct weapon groups. I want the tier 5s on group 1. I want the lower tier on tier 2. And five, they give them 2,000, 2,000 Bezos bucks. Says, here's to Mecha Mommies, GG, and have fun. Well, thank you for the 2,000 Bezos bucks, five day. I appreciate the support. You do not have to do that, but I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And thank you so much. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're, we're going to, I mean, we're going to have some kind of thing. I don't know if it's going to be fun, but we're going we're gonna to have some kind of thing. Um... Speaking of, I forgot, we gotta- I never did change the weapon groups on the atlases. So I gotta do that too. So let me switch over. Let's make sure that we switch the weapon groups on this thing too. So, uh, first and foremost, LBX. Uh, we're- we're gonna- basically we're gonna have to do this from scratch. Yeah? So I want the LBX by itself. I want the Infernos by themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and chain fire those. I want the ERPPCs. We're gonna chain those. Actually, you know what? We got extra weapon groups and it doesn't matter because the computer has a whole bunch of options when it comes to that. 
I'm limited to the number of buttons I can hit with my hands. The computer doesn't have to worry about that. And crew card with a hundred Robo Bezos bucks says time for Stompy Robots. It is indeed. It is indeed. We are going to stomp. We are going to rip and tear until it is done. Alright, so there's our weapon groups. Um, first and foremost, let us switch off of solid and switch to cluster. Okay. I don't know where these guys are going. Whoops. Weapon groups. There we go. Nope, that is not what I wanted. Weapon groups. Alright, here we go. Here we go. So I want the Gauss. We want the PPCs. I want the Infernos. I want the Assault Hands. Yeah, because of the Gauss, we were not able to put any medium pulse lasers on this thing. Alright, and I'll tell you what, we'll put we'll put the Infernos on, on that chain fire just so that the computer can handle its heat properly. So we'll do that. Uh, this is a gauss, so we don't have to worry about the ammo type. And then this will be the last one we need to do the weapon groups for. We're, we're kind of min-maxing here. We're kind of min-maxing here. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. There we go. And that should give the computer the best chance of success. Money goes to mech repairs and customizations. You should see our paint budget wanging. Like, I, our paint budget is off the scale. Have you put Atlas Arms and Retractable Blades on a Mackie yet? Oof. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Now let's get back in the crab. No. There we go. Alright. Let's get underway, Chad. Let's get underway. We need to obtain encryption keys from both allied mechs before they die. Well, about that. About that. We're, we're not exactly speedy on our feet here. Let me see. Can I... The route is not blocked, Mate. I'm hoping that I can get close enough to send our guys forward. I don't even know if they're going to be faster than me, but I got to take the chance, right? All right, so we got an awesome out there. Pay attention to me. I'm meaty. Yeah. I mean, if we gotta save these guys, then probably better that we just go ahead and start attacking anything that's attacking them. But man, we're slow. We are so slow. Focusing our fire on target. Son of a bitch. I gotta say, this terrain is butt cheeks. If it was a little more flat, I'd probably be able to snipe him with all this hardware that we brought to the table. Get used to that, chat. You're gonna hear weapon jammed a whole lot with me using this mag. You are gonna hear weapon jammed a whole fucking lot. What you doing? Poke your head out so I can blow it off, please. This is why we went for maximum accuracy too, Chet. It's gonna be headshots all day, every day up in this bitch. Alright, we got our data transfer. Oh shit. Everybody take down the leopard, he's shooting at us.
It, is it literally just hovering over me? I swear to God. If this thing lands on me and kills me, I'm gonna be pissed. Mother fucker. Of course. I, I'm not even really surprised by that, if I'm being honest. And we'll begin the recovery procedure. Ow. 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 What are we doing over here? Oh, we're preventing base destruction. Well, that's easy to say and actually very hard to do. Thankfully, uh, battle masters have weak head armor, so if I can get the head shots, we should be able to take them out pretty quickly. I'm a little bit concerned about one of our atlases, though, because it's it's kind of getting its ass handed to it. Alright, there we go. That'll take care of the long run. Ow! Alright, Chad, we're, we're, we're in a bad way, and we're about to lose somebody, and I don't like that. But these Ultra AC-5s are definitely putting in work, as for damn sure. God damn, they've, they've busted the center torso on all of our atlases. Sweet Christ in heaven. Oh, the frames. The frames. You don't you don't want to step to me, buddy. Not at this range. Man, they are fucking this base up. Approach friendly base and download the data. Okay, we're doing we're doing the thing. We are doing the thing. We're on it, boss. I should probably have brought the aerospace fighter in a lot earlier. That splash target pilot, it's about to go critical. What is this? I can't. We're we're getting ECM interference. I literally can't target this butthole. Man, everybody. Everybody is suffering right now. And we gotta stay within the base here. That's that's the other thing that's not gonna be good for us. What I wouldn't give for better zoom right now. I would love to have some better zoom right now. Okay, are we... we're at 99%? Why, why have we not hit 100% on the base? Oh, because I've literally stepped out of the circle. There we go, 100%. 100%. Ow. Burn them down! Burn these assholes to the ground! I'm actually kind of surprised. Our ammunition has has held up quite well, all things considered. Lance target received. There we go. Prepare yourself for the final wave. Oh, shit. What's the final wave, Chad? What's the final wave, Chad? Let me, let me, I mean, we can hit some of this loot. Maybe this is ammo. God, I hope it's ammo. 
Medium panic. No, no. No, I think we're at heavy panic. E. E. Oh, no. Okay, outstanding. We got some ammunition. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Yes, let us indeed burn it down. I don't, you know, you, you do you, buddy, all right? Oh my goodness. We are gonna get eaten alive out here. Move, you doofus! Shit. Uh-oh. Well, that's it. Our heaviest firepower just went down. Uh, let me back this the fuck up. Heavy yep, that's a thing that's gonna happen, and I apologize. There's not a whole lot that I can do about it. Son of a bitch! Take out the stalker, please. Take out that stalker, please. Oh my god, I'm about to explode. Yep, there we go. God damn it. Yeah, it's no good. It's no good. It's no good, Chet. It's no good. This is it. This is the last mech. That and our allies. The LRMs. The LRMs. The LRMs. Yep. There was nothing I could do, Chad. The LRM spam. The LRM spam. Yep, the bees! The bees! The bees. But you know what? We went down swinging. We sure as hell tried, guys. We tried. But that was a lot. That was a lot of DACA. That was a lot of DACA. That was a lot of LRMs. That was a lot of PPCs. I'm actually surprised there wasn't more ballistics on the field. I was expecting a lot more, like... AC-10s, AC-5s... Man. Got fucked with the Leopard Crash. Yeah, the Leopard Crash really fucked us. That, like... The, the Leopard Crash is the thing that really screwed us over because it... It stripped armor off of two of the Atlas Center Torsos. Like, if we hadn't gotten... it, it And I don't understand why the Leopard just hovered over the top of us the entire time. That kind of made me mad. Um... But it is what it is, you know, it, it's live and learn, live and learn. Uh, but yeah, so the, the leopard crashing on top of us kind of, kind of screwed us on that one. I mean, it wasn't the only thing that did us in, but you can't win them all, sadly. We're going to get nothing for this one. And those are our first pilot deaths in the campaign, including the commander. Including the commander. So we actually lost some pilots. And strangely enough, Jonah was like, Oh man, I made it out in time. They're actually the one that died. Even though they were talking like they made it out, they still died. 
Well, shit. No, 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 no. No. That... No. Okay. Here, here we go, chat. Here we go, you already know. Care of the United States Navy Band. I mean, I think it's fitting that I was so gung-ho about this that, you know, I was saying we're going to bet it all on black. We're going we're gonna to go in with everything we got. And that was, in fact, the last ride for the commander. And even though it's a sad note to go out on, I think... I think for a company called Untactical Operations it's it's a fitting end for this company a company that kind of just flew by the seat of its pants for 30-ish years? We started in 3015. It's now 3049. And just... Just before the clan invasions begin. Untactical operations. Lewis is their commander. And I think as a direct result of that... With... With no uniting figure to hold these these disparate elements together. I think everybody would go their separate ways. You know, the, the commander was... was the idiot keeping all these other idiots... in line. Keeping the company directed. I mean, it's not like I trust Rihanna to balance the books anymore. So I think I think it's a fitting end. It's it's an ignoble end, but I think it's a fitting end for the company as promised. As promised. Let's let's sell what we got. I'm interested to see if we sell everything. I tell you what, let's let's do this. Actually, you know what? Hold hold on a second. I want to know because the game should promote some I'm not surprised that Erst ended up at the top of the list after the commander dies. Doesn't surprise me at all. Does not surprise me at all. Because if there was one person, one person crazy enough to try to take over after after the commander, I I think it's definitely Erst. But let's let let me let me drop a save here. I I'm gonna I'm gonna add a new save. I'm gonna
where we're gonna put in a new save here. And the reason that I'm dropping a save is because, as promised, let's let's do the math here. Let's sell everything that we've got. And I want to see how much money... We did the same thing at the end of the BTA campaign, by the way. We sold everything. And uh, we, we basically came up with a number to figure out how much money everybody was going to get to retire with at the end of this long campaign. So after 30 years, after 30 years in the inner sphere... Let's, let's see what the folks that decided to fight for untactical operations are going to end up with in their pockets. Alright, there we go. So we got that. Now we'll do the equipment. We're going to sell. Uh... I'm, I'm gonna see how fast I can click, chat. I have strong clicky muscles. Alright, so, chat. How many pilots do we still have? We got four... Eight, ten pilots. Ten pilots. So we got ten pilots left in the roster. We got 480 million sea bills. So let's see. Let's see. How about this? How about this? We'll say we'll give 80 million dollars to split amongst the ship, the crew... Rihanna, Fahad, all the mech techs, everybody else. We'll pay $80 million, we'll spread it amongst all the folks that never got any screen time. And leave $400 million for the pilots. So, split 10 ways. That's a $40 million C-bill retirement fund for every one of the surviving pilots. Black Hydra says, have to go, see you all in another stream. Well, thanks for joining us, Black Hydra. Hopefully you had a good time. Sorry you can't stay for the whole thing, but I do hope that the weekend treats you well. So hopefully you have an outstanding rest of your Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, we'll, we'll call it 40 million. A nice, cool, even 40 million sea bills for all the survivors. I mean, if you can't figure out something to do with 40 million sea bills... Ah, uh, then you need a better imagination. 30 years of diligent service. Yeah, not everybody served for 30 years, but the company existed for 30 years. I think, uh, I think for the folks that, that made us most of that money, that is, uh, that's an acceptable retirement fund. Funny thing is... I already know at least three of the people on this roster are going to immediately take that 40 million sea bills and dump it back into another separate mercenary company on their own. Because that's that's just how Battletech is. That's how the inner sphere works. I, I could absolutely see Erst taking that 40 million as seed money and trying to, to build his own mercenary company with it. Yeah, the, the item sold messages are still updating. Also not considering the money we were already paid. Yeah, that's true. Don't forget, everybody was getting paid a salary. Y you guys were making money the entire time. But in addition to the salary, you also now are getting that $40 million payout. So if you were smart, if you were smart and you saved as much money out of your salary as you could, then you might have even more. How many months? That's a good question. Uh, does it say? I, I don't remember exactly how... Like, I don't think that the stats actually tell you. Maybe, is it under this? No, no. Uh, maybe it's under stats? Because it tells us the pilot, the current pilot salaries, but it doesn't tell us, like, the overall... It doesn't tell us the overall pilot salaries. 
Uh, pilot record is just former pilots. Like, this is everybody that we've had on the roster at some point. Um, I mean, I guess technically we could fire everybody to see when they were hired. I don't know why it doesn't tell you that up front, though. Jesus, 12,000 days. For the folks that were with us from the very beginning, it, incidentally, Jonah was one of our number one pilots. Let's see, because, because Erst wants to know, I'll go ahead and dismiss him. Let's get a move on. And let's see. Ah, uh, there you go. 10,000 days with the company, hired in 3022. So you had 27-ish years with the company. So yeah, he, you, you were a young man when you enlisted. You're an old man now. 10,000 days is a lot of fucking days. 32 million C-bills paid out in salary. But that's 32 million over, again, 37 ye or 27 years. So that's that's a little over a million a year that, that Erst was getting paid, if you average it out. Yeah, look, look at, like, for Jonah, 37 million, just to the commander, and the commander basically had no fucking salary. Even then, they still cost... 29 million. Now it says cost to org. That I'm I'm curious what that actually means though. Like is the 32 million how much we paid out in salary or is the 32 million like not only their salary but maybe it's also like every time their mech got damaged maybe it adds that. Maybe it adds that to it as well. I'm not I'm not 100% sure how it calculates that. To be fair, Urs has always felt like an old man in this madhouse. I mean, he may feel like an old man. He's younger than you think. Yeah, blackjacks, plural, the Mac and hookers. Like, why play blackjack when you can pilot a blackjack? Yeah, that's, that's something I kind of want to look at now. Like, I want to actually get into the... What what is how does Mech Warrior 5 calculate cost to org? Like I want to know if that's just salary or if that's salary and like miscellaneous repair and training expenses. But anyway, chat, that's there it is. There it is. 40 million C bill retirement. Sadly, the commander and Jonah bit the dust in the final mission. Um, but again, I, I think I think it's a fitting end. I think it's probably the only other end, like beyond total victory. Other than total victory, I think that's the only other way this could have ended. So, again. It's an ignomious end, but I think it's a fitting end for this company.